I don't know why, but I never noticed how beautiful cherry blossoms were. Not until that day, at least. I guess I didn't pay attention to them. They were easy to ignore. Or maybe it's because before that day, I always held my head low. Because somewhere inside, I felt deeply isolated from the rest of the world. But that day was different. That day, I felt like anything was possible. Like I could become someone else. There's a rumor going around. Something about the new first years. Hell yeah, I heard that. They got a few badasses. Like Totomaru Minowa and Komparu Takayuki. They used to own middle school. Sure, they're tough, but they might as well be preschoolers compared to the other guy. Yeah, no joke. Name's Onigashima. You thinking what I'm thinking? He's Ho Onigashima's little brother! If this is a miracle, then we should make good use of it. I know! You'll go to Shishiku's entrance ceremony and join the class in my place. Hold up, Konparu! Hey! I'm talking to you! Put him up. Fight you? <clears throat> Screw that. You clowns aren't even worth the effort. Coward! Say that to my face! Run while you can, it'll happen sooner or later. The top spot's ours, you got that? Fine, it's all yours. I don't give a damn. Let's bounce. Yeah. What the heck did I get myself into? I stared at the ball for the longest time, and still couldn't believe it was happening. <laughs> oh, sorry, excuse me. So, uh, what exactly is going on here? Huh? What kind of question is that? <laughs> We're dueling one-on-one -on -one to see who becomes the boss! Dueling? I see. What about the entrance ceremony? This is the entrance ceremony, dumbass! Um... <laughs> Want to get in on the action short stuff? Huh? huh? <laughs> Don't talk a big game if you ain't got the guts to take on a real challenge. Huh? I'm a first year student in the violent class. Name's Tatomaru Minowa. Terror of Samejima. That ring a bell? If not, you'll learn it. I'm gonna be the boss of this sorry bunch. If anybody's got a problem, they can complain to my fists! Thanks for the save. After that, I learned, Shishiku Academy is home to lowlives and scumbags, punks who duke it out daily to decide who'll be the boss of the school. The entrance ceremony was just one example of this. What a freaking joke. If any of those wimps think they could be boss after that beating, they're even dumber than they look. Though, I shouldn't brag too much, considering my two biggest competitors didn't even bother to show up. Who are they? For real? Did you sign up for this school by accident or something? The place is a wolf's den. Yeah, I've noticed. Guess I'm pretty clueless. <laughs> no kidding, dude. I thought you seemed kind of spacey before, but you're a total airhead. They'll eat you alive here. Oh, comforting. Why don't you stick with me for the time being? Huh? What? I just hate seeing guys like you get picked on. Grinds my gears. If you need help, say the word. Wow. Thanks, Tatomaru. That reminds me, I never got your name. <laughs> it's Hinako. Sorry, I meant... Hikaru. Hikaru Onigashima. Mm -hmm. You said you're in Violet class, right? I'm in there, too. <sighs> You're Hikaru Onigashima. Uh, yes? That's a nasty trick acting all week so others will fight your battles for you. Now I'm really pissed off. Huh? You brought this on yourself. Uh. Fight! Wait! Uh. 
Quit dodging and fight me for real! Let's see who gets to reach the top of this school! You understand? You'll go to Shishiku Academy in my place, and you'll aim for the top spot. Super simple. Huh? But I can't. I mean, I'm a girl. <laughs> and just like that, I realized how beautiful cherry blossoms were. And with it came an incredible feeling. In that moment, I felt as if I really could become a different person entirely. Yes, that was the day I... I'm a doctor conveniently passing by. Gracious, this is a compound fracture. Really? And you call 119 for him? Wait! I was heading to my school's entrance ceremony. I don't think you should worry about that. You don't understand. My school is Shishiku Academy. <gasps> To make it, you'll go to the Shishiku Academy entrance ceremony in my place. Wait, are you serious? Yes, not a bad idea. It could actually work. Huh? The Shishiku Academy he's talking about is a unique boys' school. If he misses the ceremony, it's grounds for immediate expulsion. But if you were to attend class in his place for a little while... Attend class? There's no way that would work. I'd miss out on my own classes. That won't be a problem. I'll be going to your school instead. Huh? So don't sweat it. Just go to Shishiku. But I can't. I'm a girl and you're a... Think this through. <laughs> if your actions get him expelled, then you'll be financially responsible for his enormous medical bills. More like gargantuan. <laughs> Guess it's settled. For now, you'll go to Shishiku Academy as a boy, and you'll rise to the top of the school. Simple as pie. You just added a condition! My name's Hikaru Onigashima, by the way. But starting today, that's the name you'll be going by. Turns out, that little accident was actually staged to get me to attend Shishiku Academy. But that wasn't the half of it. Sorry. When the young boss gets an idea, he stops listening. <laughs> I do. Young boss? The surprises didn't stop there. This is... Uh-huh. We had everything in the orphanage shipped to this apartment. Get comfy. This is where you're living from now on. You must be joking! Don't freak out. We smoothed it over with that Suzuka Day place you were staying in. It's fine. Huh? It was so easy. All I had to tell them was that we were long-lost twins in Presto. I mean, look at us. I don't think there's anyone alive who wouldn't think we were siblings. Uh. Yep. You and I are practically family now. Uh. And, as the second son of the Onigashima group, I have an obligation to take the top spot at Shishiku for my family. Wait, are you... Yakuza? Jeez, are you gonna freak out about everything? Look, it's Onigashima family policy. Every son has to attend Shishiku Academy. Take it over, 
and make it a breeding ground for future gangsters. But I've suffered from illness ever since I was a child. <laughs> and I doubt I could manage it. On the other hand, you've been healthy and studying various martial arts all this time. Conquering Shishiku should be a breeze. When I was growing up, I didn't have anyone. I was pretty much alone. He was the first family that I'd ever known. And before I realized it, I'd agreed to help him. Hey, did you hear the rumor? Apparently, Tatomaru from Sumejima got his ass handed to him. Hell yeah, he did. That's what happens when you take on an Onigashima mano a mano. Well, I think he lost on purpose out of respect. Hikaru didn't look like much of a fighter. For real? If that's true, it means Hikaru's status as number one is... A lie! Uh, Damn me? it! I thought I was past this! I molded over a thousand times yesterday, but I still can't face the music. Talk about lame, huh? Not sure I follow. <sighs> really, dude? I'm trying to say you beat me fair and square. No other way to slice it. I accept it. No bull, it's the truth. I respect your strength and your skill as a fighter, not to mention your family name. There's no turning back at this point. By beating me, you're now the acting boss of the first years. I'll be your right hand. If anyone challenges you, I'll back you up with everything I've got. Hold on, Minoa. I didn't mean to do that. <laughs> Don't call me that. Tomaru will do just fine. Uh, really? Isn't that kind of overly familiar? Huh? I don't think it's a big deal. I mean, we're bros now. Bros? That means friend, right? Well, yeah, you punch it out with a guy, and you're bros. That means a lot to me. Uh, Totomura. Uh, sure, whatever. You know, I used to dream about taking over Shishiku Academy. Well, until that fight anyway. It's frustrating, but he's the real deal, so I can't really complain. Hikaru Onigashima is a badass. I respect the hell out of him. You're unnaturally thin. Makes me wonder. Are you really who you say you are? Your big brother goes to Shishiku, doesn't he? You know the punks at that glorified Roach Motel make life suck pretty hard for us. I think we'll take some reparations out of your sorry little hide. Sound fair? But that's my lunch money. What do you think you're doing? What's it look like, Pinky? I'm shaking the kid down. Do you mind? Shake down? Jerk. You do that to a child? Hold on, check out the uniform. This punk's from Shishiku, too. Guess the place isn't all it's cracked up to be. Run, kid. Hurry! Hey! <laughs> Aww. He got away. What a shame. Oh, well. Guess you'll pay our reparations. How about it, boys? Should we get to work? Jackass, 
out of my way. Fine, it's all yours. I don't give a damn. Uh, thank you. He almost got the drop on me. Whatever. He was in my way, so I moved him. I wasn't trying to help. So right now, the top two first years are you and this guy. <laughs> Who's he? Takayuki Kamparu. Don't the headphones give it away? Whatever. He was in my way, so I moved him. I wasn't trying to help. The second years have two bosses, too. Yuta Mitako and Rintaro Kita. You're so thin, it makes me wonder. Are you really who you say you are? Yeah, Kira and I have met. So then, who is this? Uh, your big brother, numbskull. Who else? Huh? Oh, oh, Onigashima. Boss of the third years. A living legend who took over Shishiku one month after enrolling. <laughs> Listen to me telling you about your own brother. Yeah, silly. If you want to rule the school, you're going to have to take each of them down one-on-one. -on -one. No ifs, ands, or buts about it. You'll start with Kampadu. He's a first year in the Wisteria class. There ain't a punk in Shishiku that hasn't heard of him. After 153 fights and zero losses, he's considered invincible. Wow, he sounds incredibly strong. Hey, you beat me, right? Don't sweat it. I know you got what it takes to win this. But Komparu already said he wouldn't be fighting because he thinks it's ridiculous. When two dudes square off, nobody wins by default. Either you beat him one-on-one, -on -one, or you let any hope of ruling Shishiku die right here. Okay, fine. <laughs> hey, bro! Huh? One of the boys from your school saved me from a gang of bullies this morning. Huh? The three of them were gonna steal my lunch money, but he totally stopped them. He was cute looking, but really cool. Huh. Hmm. Well, if you see him again, be sure to thank him. Mm -hmm. Big, Big brother! Is dinner almost ready? We're hungry! Yep, it's my special yucky soba. Yay! <laughs> Even though I was unofficially at the top of Shishiku's first years at the time, I could definitely feel the pressure to win. From Tatomaru? Don't get me wrong, I got nothing personal against Kamparu. But if you want people to think you've taken over the first year's class, you gotta fight him. If you don't face him now, you'll never move forward. Get what I'm saying, bro? Your only choice is to fight him! If you don't, you can't call yourself a man! I thought I'd get a break after I got home, but it wasn't much better. Don't just sit around, you should be planning your takeover. Aim for the very top of Shishiku and rule it for the glory of me! Fight like there's no tomorrow, miss. I couldn't avoid fighting Komporu if I wanted to. So I went ahead and challenged him. But every time I did, he gave me the same answer. I'm not interested in fighting. It's pointless. I may as well have been challenging a broken record. Try as I might, I couldn't get a different answer out of him. Tatomura? I think this situation calls for drastic measures. What's that supposed to mean? Isn't it obvious? You get out there and jump his ass! It's Brawling 101! <laughs> Sounds like assault and battery. Yeah, well, it's better than waiting for him to change his mind. Until you pound Kampuru into the pavement, your road to the top of Shishiku is closed off! If he doesn't want to fight, it won't happen. I can't force him. Uh, no way. A letter of challenge? Mm. I'll be damned. He's ready to rumble. This is your chance, Hikaru.
interested in a fight. It's pointless. You coward! Give back my brother! Brother? What are you talking about? I'm here because I got this letter of challenge from you. You're the one who sent a letter, you sorry son of a bitch. This doesn't make any sense! Don't play dumb! You've tried to pick a fight with me every day for weeks! What, you resort to kidnapping when you don't get your way? Bastard! Just how rotten are you? What? Kidnapping? Look, man, you're confused or something. Hikaru doesn't roll like that. Now are you gonna fight him or keep babbling? Hey, boss. Hmm? <laughs> Don't worry. We picked up Komporu's little brat of a brother, like you said. Ah! Ah! Minoru! I know that boy. Wait, seriously? <laughs> I, I met him on the way to school the other day. But those other guys? Whatever goes down here, I got your back, bro. I trust you wouldn't stoop to pulling dirty tricks like that. Tomino. Don't worry, Minoru. I'll get you out of this! Whoa now! One more step and the brat will have a permanent smile. Better cool it. You sick, demented psychopath! What kind of monster threatens a child just so they can have a street fight? This is a misunderstanding, I swear! Time. Minoru was in danger, so I just sorta lost it. Thinking back to that day, Hikaru was just trying to talk some sense into me. So he was slow to react at first. Alright, guess I have to do this. Yeah, I realized if I wanted any hope of getting through to Konparu, I'd have to snap him out of it with a few punches. <laughs> to do with the kidnapping. Just the thought of doing something like that turns my stomach. I could never... You're still acting innocent? Stop, I don't buy it. Just leave him alone. Komparu. Big bro! Huh? Minoru? <laughs> Goodness. Are you, are you okay? I'm, I'm so sorry. I wasn't there. I, I can't breathe. <laughs> oh, oops. <laughs> That's him, bro. Huh? He's the cute boy that helped me when those bullies tried to take my lunch money. He was just as cool then, too. Isn't he awesome? That was you? Thanks, cute boy. I owe you. No, really. <laughs> Sorry about this. Huh? Hmm? I was in the wrong here. I threw punches without thinking. I'm ashamed of myself. I was angry. You didn't deserve any of this. Hey, I get it. I mean, I've been trying to pick a fight with you for so long. I'm just sorry your brother got involved. I don't 
get it. Why would those guys do this in the first place? Who knows? Maybe they thought if you two duked it out, you'd destroy each other. Freaking cowards. Hmm. Huh? I learned a lot about you today. <laughs> Not only are you incredibly strong, but you've got a kind heart and look out for the weak like you've done for my little brother. After all this, I think you'd make a great leader for the first years. Do you mean that? I do, and you'll have my full support. Hikaru Onigashima. Thank you, Komparu. <laughs> Hell yeah! All our problems just flew out the window! Huh? Hikaru's at the top of the first years, and Headphones is a bona fide member of the gang! Uh, I didn't agree to that. Sure. Oh, you're annoying. Uh, Hikaru? <laughs> What's up? <laughs> Nothing! <laughs> successfully gained control of Shishiku Academy's first years. Then, it was time to move on. We set our sights on the second year class. Crap, I forgot. Midterms are coming up soon, aren't they? Never thought they'd actually test us at this school. School being the operative word. So, for some reason we decided the best thing to do was have a study session. <laughs> These questions, don't they seem stupid hard? Uh, this is all middle school level stuff, dude. <gasps> I thought they were easy, but I had no idea. I figured they have to be pretty lenient at Shishiku or most of the students would fail before the semester's <laughs> out. Wait a second, you can actually figure them out? But how? Uh... Huh, I guess it makes sense now. I heard when Tatomaru's homeroom teacher saw his grades the first day, they were moved to tears. They weren't worth crying over, really. So, that means you're actually good at this crap? Just goes to show you can't judge a book by its cover, my friend. Look at Hikadu, he's a prime example. You'd never think he's as strong as he is. Good point. So, uh, I've been wanting to ask this ever since I got here. Sup with that? You like a fan of his? <laughs> Those are my brothers. Uh, that's Ho-O's? <laughs> no way, that's crazy! <laughs> uh, sorry, sorry, slip of the tongue! I meant they're my sisters! Huh? You, you got, got a sister? <laughs> Brother, what is this? Oh, well, uh, we just... Uh, uh, I forgot, boss! I mean, miss! The young miss, I mean boss, had planned a study session for today. I heard I just forgot about it. Besides, doesn't look like studying. More like a social gathering for shady lowlifes. Get out! Uh, this is my- Get in the room and for the, the love of God, the secrets, get out of me! Uh, I'm Haruo Sakaguchi. I look after the boss and miss. It's nice to meet you, boys. 
please get back to studying. Uh, also, if you decide to try anything funny with her, him, you'll have to answer to me. Dude, your sister makes a pretty powerful impression. Yeah, she's a better fit for Shishiku than you. Yeah. <laughs> no joke, you're a little lacking in the manly department. If I didn't know you, I'd have a hard time telling you were even a guy. Know what? I think it's time we brushed you up on the art of the punk. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Forget it. Guess not everyone's cut out for everything, you know? Uh -huh. Someone that I'd never know. You put up a front, but there's a limit to how far I'll let it go. I want to dream, take back the esteem and break away. I'm starting now, I'm starting now before it's too late. I'll wake up, wake up, wake up. <laughs> Turn it down! Do you want the neighbors to complain? Come on, you can't let go of the place! Sorry for the disturbance. Geez, hmm. relax, bro. You're gonna burst. What do you mean? I'm fine. <laughs> Come on, you're so tense. I bet I could beat you at wrestling. Tough guy, let's see you get out of this! You're too close. Hey, you look kind of red. You okay? Uh, well, you just sort of jumped on me out of nowhere. Of course I turned red. Uh, don't make it sound weird. I just put you in a hole. Help is on the way. Try my oh, best idiot. to find Buddy. Oh, hey. <laughs> How do you like that? Am I helping yeah, yet? Yeah, no, <laughs> no, yeah, Rax, I tried to warn you. Uh, but you just had to go and mess with the little Miss Boss. Now you're gonna pay! Totomaru, Komparu, thanks so much for today. Huh? It's just, I've never had friends over at my house like this before. It was a lot of fun. Uh, sure, bro. I mean, it was just a study session, but what else? Next time, I say we ditch the books and do some training. <laughs> sure. Next time. I was about to kick off my career as an artist, and my solo debut was set to be at the school I attended. But Shishiku isn't your run-of-the-mill institution. It's the wildest academy in the country. It was a totally transparent attempt to generate some buzz. Although, to be honest, I couldn't have cared less about it. That's how I felt at the time. And if it wasn't for who I met, I'd still feel that way. I need to get to class or I'll be late. Oh! The guy from the posters! Oh. Hey, you a fan of mine too, babe? 
want an autograph? No, I'm good, thanks. Why are you here? <laughs> you mean you don't know? That hurts. I'm a second year student in Cherry Blossom class. Name's Yuta Mirako. You're quite the little cutie. You seem frail and naive. It kind of makes me want to take care of you. Got a boyfriend I can replace? No, I am a boy! So you are. Can't believe I missed the uniform. Though I'm not sure I'm convinced. <laughs> I don't make mistakes. I pride myself on having an especially keen eye. And... No guy has wrists like yours. Uh, I get that a lot, actually. It's true I'm pretty short, and I don't have the most muscular build, but I really am a guy. Uh-huh. Well, I'll actually be attending class for a change today. I'll find you. You'll find me? Yep. Maybe next time I can be a little more thorough with you. Then I'll know for sure whether you're really a boy or not. <laughs> hey, Hansy! Think you could give it a rest? You're bothering Hikaru, not to mention being a total creep. He might be mild-mannered, but he's the boss of the first years. Back off or we'll make you. Yeah? A scrawny thing like you. <sighs> and you are... who again? Where is bros? You got a problem with that? Bros? What a load of crap. Seriously. Guess the first years don't amount to much. Been a while, Rintaro. Didn't think you'd be the one to reach out first. It's not like you at all. Stop messing with the first years, understand? Ah, yes. So you saw that? He's quite interesting, isn't he? I thought he was a girl at first. Maybe I'll... <laughs> all right, kill the scary look. I'll leave him be, okay? Besides, he's got a couple of friends with him. What a loser. There's that pathetic attitude. You haven't changed at all, Yuta. You're still letting ancient history tear you apart. Hey, did you hear the news? You know that guy Mitako, rival to the top of the second years? He's putting on a solo concert here. Hell yeah. <laughs> a punk in an idol, huh? Must be exhausting. I heard something else. Mirako was messing with Hikaru. His lieutenants are pissed. That's right. It won't be much longer until... A POWER PLAY! <sighs> Can't believe I missed the uniform, though I'm not sure I'm convinced. I don't make mistakes. I pride myself on having an especially keen eye, and... You're so thin, I can't help but wonder. Are you actually who you say you are? Huh. He definitely looks like a girl from this angle. You conquered the first year class? Really? <laughs> Miraka, what are you... No need to shout. I'm right here. Good morning, sleepyhead. Uh, yeah, good morning to... What am I saying? Get off me! Fine, jeez. Don't be embarrassed. We're both guys, after all. Unless, of course, you're admitting you're actually a girl. <laughs> you want me to prove I'm a guy? Then quit messing around and fight me. You're one of the top second years, right? Well, if I'm a girl, it should be no contest. You've got fire, and your punch is nothing to scoff at. <laughs> you sure you want to do this without your bros here to help you? My friends have nothing to do with this. You're right, they'd only get in the way. Besides, what's the point of friends? They'll just let you down when you need them. They really bother you. What is it about my friends that makes you so angry? You know what? You sound like Rintaro when you talk like that. Rintaro? Damn it. Everyone acts like they know things.
<laughs> Six months, nine days, and no challenge. I'm getting bored. Friends, huh? So much for that. Can you help me, Kira? It's about you to Mirako. I thought you might have the answer. Know him, right? Then tell me, why does he hate friendship so much? You know what? You sound like Rintaro when you talk like that. <laughs> I'll say this once. It's got nothing to do with you. True. 
It's just, I feel like I should do something. He seems so sad. I want to help him. <laughs> I think I understand what he's feeling. The loneliness and the hurt. Because for a time, I felt the same way that he does. <laughs> I'm glad I asked Kira. What he said after that was more than enough to motivate me. Tomorrow? Sure, I got nothing better to do. You owe me, Hikaru. Tomorrow we train for the whole damn day. My wonderfully accepting friends were gracious enough to help me. When it came time for the concert, we volunteered as event staff. Yuta! Good evening! Thanks so much for coming out to see me. I'm flattered. I'm gonna make it hot tonight. I hope you can keep up with me. I've poured my soul into these songs. The first one of the night is one that's particularly personal. I hope you enjoy it. Hold it! <laughs> Sorry, fellas. No autographs. <laughs> Do we look like your loser fans, pretty boy? Don't make me laugh. The thought of a punk pretending to be an idol makes me want to puke. It's pathetic. So, uh, is this part of the show? Doubt it. We know these guys. <laughs> I get it now. You're jealous of me. Nothing's more pitiful than a man sick with envy. Poor babies. Hey, better watch that mouth. Hear that, boys? The pop star says we're pitiful. Get him! <laughs> what? You gonna fight back or something? Think about this. Your little show's being broadcast nationally. Could get ugly. Stop right there! <laughs> Who are these chumps? Wanna be heroes? Mind your own damn business. What is this? I couldn't just leave you to deal with things on your own. Huh? What are you, stupid or something? Yeah, a big stupid softy with great friends who tolerate me. The boss says fight for you, so that's what we'll do. End of story. Shishiku is our turf. They can't waltz in here like they own the place. Really? Let's go! Right! <laughs> 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 Mirko used to be a good-natured guy. He cared a lot about his friends. In middle school, he started to rise up, and he trusted them to back him. But then, one day, his friends betrayed that trust. It taught him that camaraderie, like being top of the school, meant next to nothing. After that, he saw friendship between guys as a fantasy, a game of pretend that led to regret. You'll be sorry! Awesome! Ah! on a kick ass! Damn it all. Ha, <laughs> I give up. You have me beat. <gasps> You're as light as a feather. Like a little princess. Uh, Come on. You can share your secrets. I won't kiss and tell. I told you. I'm a boy. Yeah, about that. I've decided I don't care if you're a boy or girl. Oh, then would you mind putting me down? <laughs> hey, that's enough, weirdo. Let go of him or else. Stupid Minako. She doesn't even care about Yuta, but I'm the one stuck out here with the rabble? Damn. Boss. <laughs> It's all right, everyone. 
Thanks to my powerful friends here, those creeps won't be bothering us again. And now, just for you, I'll share our bond through my music. Sorry about all this. Seems like you've had to look after the place while I was gone. Didn't mean to dump that on you. With Oyamada gone and Mirako busy with his little solo it's act... It's fine. Hmm? You never asked me to look after anything. And I haven't done much along those lines. So... <laughs> Glad you haven't changed. Hmm? By the way, Hikaru, you wanna hit the arcade? Bet I could lick you. Uh -huh. Forget it. Hikaru and I are training this afternoon. Uh, did we plan that? We just did. Doesn't count! Sorry, I can't today. There's somewhere I gotta be. Maybe next time? Bye! Uh. Huh? So, uh, you wanna go to the arcade? I don't. Hikaru used to hate fighting so much, I was worried this place would eat him alive. Looks like he's getting along fine, though. Glad I was wrong. Take a closer look, ho -Oh. mm -hmm. Are you sure that's really your brother? Mm. The hell's that supposed to mean? I had to finish the paperwork for leaving the orphanage. So I went back to Suzuka's there one last time to say goodbye to my childhood. After all that time away, seeing the director again felt great. His smile always gave me comfort. That night, I went down memory lane with him. We talked about my previous life and the new one. But little did I know, our talk would cause me so much trouble. I'm still in shock over it. I think I was more surprised to find out you had a long-lost twin brother than you were, to be honest. Though don't get me wrong, I am happy for you. Come on, tell me about them. Are things in the new home going as well as you'd hoped? <laughs> I guess. Your brother certainly seemed like a kind young fella. Yeah, kind enough to kidnap his own flesh and blood. Hmm? Uh, nothing, don't listen to me. You're happy and healthy, that's all that matters. So, how are things going at the new school? Uh... You were so excited about being accepted there. Is it fun? Yeah, it's a great time. I made some new friends, and we fight a lot. Live in the teenage dream. You fight? Uh, no, I mean martial arts. I joined the school club and got to practice every day, you know. See, nothing harmful. It's just sparring. <laughs> it doesn't surprise me. From the moment we started teaching self-defense, you loved it. Of all the kids we've had here, you were by far the most motivated. I was, really? Yes, it was his influence. That young boy you called Big Brother and kept following around like a lost puppy. I forgot about that. Come on, don't cry. It's okay. If anything happens, I'll be there to protect you. After all, Hinako. You two were practically inseparable back in those days. <laughs> Man, that really takes me back. That makes two of us. It's been so long, I forgot what he looked like. But I do remember how good he was at fighting and how he protected others. I wanted to be as strong as he was. That's why I put everything I had into learning martial arts. Mm -hmm. Not long after that, someone called me out. I didn't know what to expect, but what ended up happening? was crazy. I didn't think you'd bring your posse along. Are you afraid to meet me alone? Aside from Mirako, Kira Rintaro was the head of the second years. 
Cool it, hotshot. We're only here to see how the fight plays out, nothing more. He is our boss. We go where he goes. Yes, of course. I should have known you'd take this as a challenge, but that's not my intent. Whatever. I'll get straight to the point, Hikaru. How long do you intend to keep up this act? Huh? Come on. Stop lying about who you are. Huh? <laughs> what kind of game are you playing here? Yeah, you're not making any sense. It's simple. This is not Hikaru Onigashima. Why so quiet suddenly? I can tell them everything myself if you prefer. I don't mind, believe me. Why are you doing this? Have it your way. Suzukaze. Stop! Orphanage. I don't know what your problem is, but I am Hikaru Onigashima. What are you basing all of this on? If anything happens, I'll be there to protect you, <gasps> after all. Well, that was the biggest letdown of the century. What a weirdo. Hey, Hikaru, do you know what he was on about? <gasps> Hikaru, what's wrong? Anything happens, I'll be there to protect you. After all, Hinako, you're my little sister. <laughs> the moment we met, I could feel something was off. And as time went by, that feeling became total certainty. More than anything, there was the resemblance. It was uncanny. At some point in time, I had just forgotten all about him. But I was little, and it was years ago. I guess it shouldn't have surprised me. My protector, he inspired me to become strong on my own. So, of course, I would call him brother. <laughs> You're so thin, I can't help but wonder. Are you actually who you say you are? <laughs> want to help him. It's simple. This is not Hikaru Onigashima. <laughs> if anything happens, I'll be there to protect you. After all. After all, Hinako, you're my little sister. <laughs> Next time you ask someone to meet you, show up on time. Yeah. Hmm. It's been a while, Hikaru. How are you? Have we met before? Seriously? Do you forget what your own brother looks like? So this... is Ho Onigashima! Um... Sup, big bro? <clears throat> uh, huh? 
Hikaru! Yes? <laughs> Must be a cold day in hell. I never thought you'd call me Big Bro or anything close to it. Really? Well, can you blame me? All I ever got from you was buzz off, or you're in my way. I hate your guts. <laughs> what is wrong with you, Hikaru? So, you gonna tell me why I'm here? Thought I might beat some sense into your ass. <clears throat> Don't be ridiculous. Well, you've been getting on my nerves lately. Watching you sulk about isn't all that entertaining. Do me a solid and get over it. It's got nothing to do with you. There are two guys running Shishiku's second years. But I'm the one sitting at the top of the dog pile. See, thanks to some trouble, I ended up repeating. Wow. Must be rough. <laughs> so word through the grapevine is you already took over the first years, is that true? Yeah, I guess. Heard the fish were a pretty rowdy bunch, too. You having trouble keeping them in line? Well, at first, Tatomaru Kompuru and I didn't really get along. But now they're the best friends I've ever had. Gotcha. Found yourself some bros. Uh-huh. <laughs> Tatomaru can be pretty straightforward at times, but he's the best student at Shishiku. So much so that teachers actually cried over his grades. And Konparu is about as stubborn and moody as they come. But he's super sweet and cares a lot for his siblings. Exactly like an older brother should. <laughs> <laughs> uh, not what I meant! You're great just the way you are! <laughs> Goofball, oh, look at you, oh, acting all grown up. Oh. That'll help here, but let your guard down for an instant and it's game over. Oh. Understand? <gasps> if anything happens, just come to me. I know I haven't been the best brother to you over the years. But we're family, no matter what. You can always count on me. Thanks. Anyway, if you can get used to this school's atmosphere, everything else will go smoothly. That's the problem. I don't know how. It's simple. Stick to what you believe in and face every foe head on. Whatever you care about, fight for it with every ounce of strength you can muster. Do that, and you'll be just fine. You think I haven't changed at all, right? But I'm pretty sure you have. Now which one of us is letting ancient history tear him apart? Shut up! I'm sick of watching you brooding! Quit running away from your feelings! It's pathetic! And it's pissing me off! That's enough! Since they saved me, I haven't had the right to call myself the top of the second years! It's you now, so get your act together! Or we'll never keep them in line! Got it? to be top of our class. I didn't want it. Or to have anything to do with them. That's your excuse? But I'll admit you have a point. These feelings, I can't run from them anymore. I'll fight. <laughs> That's right. I need to face my foe head on. It's time, time we, we settle, settle this. this. Oh, little baby don't got no parents. Loser. Must be lonely. Sucks to be you, kid. Better get used to it. Cut it out! Uh, crap, it's him Mommy. again! Run for it! Uh, She's not alone, got that? I'm her big brother. And if you pick on her again, I'll make sure you pay! They're gone now. Come on, don't cry. It's okay. Thanks, big brother. If anything happens, I'll be there to protect you. Cause after all, you're my little sister. Mm -hmm. But you know, 
You should get strong too. That way, you can protect yourself. You don't belong here. I won't ask again. Leave Shishiku or I'll make you. Where do you get off, pretty boy? For Tatomaru, real? Tatomaru, please. I don't know what led to these assumptions, Kira, but I'm sick of listening to them. I won't put up with it, and I sure as hell won't leave this school. What's the point of this facade? There's no reason for you to fight. Stop this and go back to living like a girl. <sighs> You heard that too, right? Listen, Kira. For the last time. My name is Hikaru Onigashima! Don't you get it? Shishiku Academy is where I met my friends. <sighs> the fact that you're telling me to leave means you don't know me at all. They were scary at first. But now, I know they're really good people. And truth be told, I'm happier than I've ever been. I don't want to lose that feeling. I'm staying and that's that. <laughs> you think you can survive this place? Back then all you did was cry. <laughs> so I get a demonstration then. You're sure about this? Yes. And once I beat you, you'll have to admit that I'm a man. Fine. If that's what you want, challenge accepted. Whoa. He's so determined I can actually feel it. But I can't let him win this fight! <laughs> <laughs> There's a reason he's the top of the second years. Hikaru might be in trouble here. I only spent six short months with Hinako. Back then. But I always wondered what happened to her. This might be selfish of me, but I thought if she was the same person, I could still protect her. Turns out I was wrong. You didn't hesitate. There was no doubt or fear behind your attacks. <clears throat> you really are Hikaru Onigashima. I see that now. <clears throat> I can't possibly deny how strong you've become. You've grown into one hell of a young man. <clears throat> Guess I lose. She's not alone, got that? If anything happens, I'll be there to protect you. You're my little sister. You should get strong too. That way, you can protect yourself. Big brother, thanks. Holy crap, you won. Whoa, hold up. Doesn't that mean Hikaru just took over the second years in one fell swoop? Uh, no, what? 
This was personal. It had nothing to do with... They're right. I lose. You earned it fair and square. You're the boss now. You're sure, Kira? Hell yeah! That was awesome, Hikaru! I knew you were destined for greatness! <laughs> Saw it coming. Fess up! You were holding back on him, sneaky! <laughs> Quick, we'll noogie your brains One out. One more class and we rule the school! <laughs> you're right. Look at that. Hey, you're not alone anymore. And you have all the strength you need. So I guess you don't need me. Kira, I became strong because I looked up to you, my big brother. I wish I could have said that out loud. Maybe someday he'll know how much he did for me. It had been 72 days since the entrance ceremony. In that short amount of time, I took over two classes and made some of the best friends I could ever hope to have. the rumor? They're saying Hikaru Onigashima's a chick. Hell yeah, I did. It's the biggest scandal in Shishiku's history. But could a girl really be that tough? If he is a chick, she still beat the first and second years. Whatever the case, the flyers and internet chatter are bad news. The whole school's on edge. This'll be one hell of a storm! There's a lot of talk going around. You okay? I think so. Sorry for making you all worry. Why are you apologizing, dude? You did nothing wrong. But... What the hell is all this? We're a laughing stock! Explain yourself! Are you really a chick? We're waiting, Onigashima! Guys, chill out and think for a second. Shishiku's a boy's school. Why would a girl even come here? So, too embarrassed to talk? Jeez, what a bunch of dumbasses. If they'd cooled their jets, they'd realize it was fake. Do we have any idea who started the rumor? It's my fault. Care to explain? Now? It was some of my fans. They started it on my message board. They might have thought I was in a relationship with Hikaru. You were kind of creeping on him for a bit there. Damn girls are terrifying. My bad. Sorry. Uh, come on, please don't bow to me like that, Mirako. This is my responsibility. I should have just worked harder. If I had, maybe things wouldn't have gotten out of hand like this. Don't be stupid, bro. The fault is with the losers freaking out over this BS. Those trolls are just making noise. They'll get bored eventually. So keep your head up and ride this out, okay? No matter what anyone says, you're our boss and we respect you. Right, guys? You know it. Mm. Thank you. If push comes to shove, just strip. That'll do it, real quick. <laughs> Only you would get naked in front of people for no reason. Whatever, dude. What do you expect? He's got no sense of decorum. Agreed. Oh, I get it. Ganging up on old Totomaru. We'll turn about's fair play, you know. 
The guys at Shishiku are freaking pissed. This is too good. Just like we were hoping. Good work, Oyamada. Huh. It was easy. They're punks, but they still have their own set of rules. They stick to a hierarchy. Now, we just gotta push a little harder. It was naive of us to think everything would just blow over. The rumors kept getting worse, and tension at the school was rising like mad. What are you gonna do if they find out your true identity, huh? All of my efforts would have been Calm for down, nothing! Boss. A brilliant we plan wasted! Fix this. Even as Hikaru said that, I wasn't sure what I could do to change things, so I kept quiet like I had since the whole thing had started. And then finally, the day I had dreaded arrived. Prove you're a man right now! You owe us that much at least! Yeah, whip it out! We want proof! How stupid are you guys? You're gonna let gossip get you riled up like this? Everyone in here knows how strong he is. No way he's a girl. Chicks aren't built that way. <laughs> Enough excuse to show us your job! You visible proof! Yeah! Visible! Take it off! Then we'll know for yeah, sure! Yeah! Take it off! If you're not a girl, you won't mind stripping! That's the only way to prove you're a man! Yeah! Prove it! Take it off! 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 You're kidding me. For real? I really was a joke. She was lying to us the whole freaking time. Tricky bitch. Exactly. She's gonna pay. Make her pay. That chick's gonna be my boss. I heard Shishiku had a skirt running things, but didn't believe it. Looks like all the rumors had merit. What the hell is Third High School doing here? <laughs> It'd be hilarious if it weren't so sad. Don't worry, fellas. We'll expose this fraud for what she really is. You just stand back and enjoy the show. Laying a finger on him unless you get through us. By all means, try it.
they want to play at being knights, then they'll bleed for their princess. <laughs> Have at him, boys! Hikaru, you're the best bro a guy could want. The only thing stronger than your fists is your heart. I'll be damned if I let you waste one punch on these sacks of garbage. Hear that, you sword punks? You're not getting past me! Or me! Ever since I fought Hikaru, I swore to get stronger so I could face him again someday. I will not lose again. Not until I beat him! And he won't lose either! I'll make sure of it! <laughs> I must be going soft here. I swore I'd never trust in friendship again. But despite that, I still found a place to belong! And Hikaru is the one who showed me. As for me, I refused to see past my memories of her. Of then, I was so obsessed with her. You set me free, and I'll do whatever it takes to repay you. Everything had gone wrong. I knew I had to fix it, but I had no idea how. And the others? They'd put every ounce of their faith in me. The lie I'd been telling them never felt heavier than in that moment. Hikaru! Hikaru! <laughs> That's how -ho. For real? This guy's a legend. No way. Hikaru. I don't know what's got you so worried that you're just standing there. But if you can't even handle this, there's no way you'll truly rise to the top. And you sure as hell won't live up to the faith your friends put in you. You know what you have to do. Put up your fists and show them your worth! For the wait. Hmm? <laughs> I'm ready now. Everyone, listen up. This school's important to me because it's the first place I made friends. Friends I could never bear to lose. So I'm staying. Let them say whatever they want. One day, I'll rise to the top with you at my side. <laughs> Did you hear? Hikaru's status is on the rise after what happened. Hell yeah. In the end, all the guys in Shishiku fell back in line. Well, he wiped the floor with those guys single-handedly. Who wouldn't? No joke, but he did go a bit overboard. Behold! Proof! I'm a man! Look close! If that's all you'll get! <laughs> no one cares, dude! Thanks for the free show, though, bud! It's cool, man! That was... So damn lame! Everyone calms down after that, thankfully. Holo, uh, my big brother, explained it all. The guy behind the whole fiasco is named Oyamada. 
He was the top of Shishiku's second years before him. When you think about it, this was kind of my fault. Since I had to repeat a year, Oyamada chose to leave. And I don't think he ever got over that. Poor bastard. He lost the moment he went after you to get to me. So don't blame yourself for any of this, okay? <laughs> I still can't believe what Hikaru did. Stripping to protect me was just so selfless. I didn't even want to do it in the first place! So thanks to this pushy idiot, I was humiliated! True. And it was worth <laughs> it! I learned a lot from this experience. I know how truly lucky I am. And now... I can get back to the life I've made.